Pepsi went through a very big strategic review. Um, they've been having issues in their uh, U.S. beverage business, losing a lot of ground to Coca-Cola. Um, so there was some speculation that they might actually split up the company. Some investors were calling for that because of the sluggish uh, share price. Um, that didn't happen, um, but they are uh, investing heavily um, in marketing, uh, trying to get uh, Pepsi-Cola and some of the other brands um, uh, on, on stronger footing against, against Coke. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I guess in some ways uh, the Cola Wars um, are, are gearing up again in the U.S. So a couple of things, Mike. So they're going to spend a lot more money on marketing. And is that is that a little bit of a dicey gamble? Because, you know, you really have to usually in these consumer er product areas, you got to come up with real catchy um, marketing uh, tactics in order to really get people involved in buying the stuff. And, you know, is that a is that a risk? And then, how much uh, rope are the um, you know the impatient investors, the ones that are looking for a breakup? How much time, or or, or you know, uh, how long is their patience going to last with that strategy of uh, more marketing spending? Well, I think a lot of people on Wall Street think that um, Pepsi needs to do what it's doing in terms of ramping up uh, marketing. Uh, the problem has been that um, they've been spreading the marketing funds across a lot of brands, including a lot of smaller brands um, in areas like nutrition that they're trying to build up. And uh, so they just haven't been keeping pace with, with Coca-Cola. And the argument is that's why they've been losing so much market share. Um, so I think everybody's on board that, you know, you got to fix this. And in order to fix it, you need to spend money on marketing. In terms of how much time they have to fix it, um, I think there's quite a few investors out there um, that are willing to give PepsiCo, uh, you know, this year um, to show progress. And, uh, but, you know, if we're having the same conversation a year from now, uh, it's a point of yeah, I mean, let's talk about the, they've talked about 600 million in marketing spending, and, I, and they're also laying off 8,700 people. I'd hate to be one of the people who's losing my job so Pepsi can make some more commercials, mm -hmm. but that's a whole other issue. Um, you know, 600 million sounds like a lot, but when you're talking about, especially the North American market, which is so saturated, growth is so hard to come by, can they spend their way? Can they advertise their way to, to real growth, even maybe overtaking Coke? Well, I think the argument is that um, the, you know the soda market is so big in the U.S. Um, it's it's around let's say you know seventy five billion dollars a year retail. Um, so if you've got a pretty decent share, and let's say Pepsi is around thirty percent market share, if you lose half a percentage point market share, um, that's really big money. And, and likewise, if you gain half a uh, point market share, that's huge money. Um, so I think you know the argument is um, yeah you're not you're not going to have you know huge growth, but you can't afford to lose it. Yeah. Hey, Elton John is laughing over your answer there, Mike. It's rather, rather rude, of Sir Elton. <laughs> What's going on there? Uh, we're not listening to this commercial. Uh, but really, I mean, Pepsi. Maybe I'm wrong about this. It seems like Pepsi's number two, Coke's number one. It's always been that way. I mean, how much growth can they really get? Well, what are their investors really looking for in terms of growth? Well, I think you know everybody's looking for balanced growth, and Coke's doing the same thing too. You know, they're not just relying on uh, on cola or soda. I mean, soda volumes have fallen every year since uh, since you know the mid middle of the last decade. Um, but it's still a huge a huge market. But Coke and Pepsi are, are both moving aggressively into you know juices, enhanced water. They're getting into coconut water now. Um, you know, buying stakes in small companies, trying to find basically the next big thing. Um, so I think the idea is you got to have sort of balanced growth. But um, the complaint by investors was that PepsiCo was sort of taking its eye off the ball when it came to its biggest, its biggest brand, which is, which is PepsiCola.